After a year and a half of being a state representative, I've pretty much figured out that the state government pretty much does three things, mostly three things. Uh, looking at the budget that came out last Friday and all the budgets in the past, you can see that we pretty much educate, we medicate, and we incarcerate. But one other thing I've learned very quickly is that if we don't medicate, then we can't educate, and if we don't educate, then we probably will have to incarcerate. You know, or as my colleague in the House of Representatives, Bernard LeBaum, would say, you know, if you're not investing on the front end, then you're going to have to invest, you're going to have to pay for it on the back end. Uh, Bernard LeBaum would say, um, it's like a balloon. If you squeeze it on the bottom, it pops up on the top. So, it, you know, we're going to pay for it one way or the other. And so, in my opinion, you have to medicate and educate so you won't have to incarcerate. Actually, whenever I look at that, and I think about it, I have teachers constantly coming up to me, and we're talking about empowering teachers, telling me these more and more stories about, oh, this child who, uh, who can't see the board, that we don't know how to get him help. Um, oh, this, this kid came to school today with a broken arm, and I spent half the day trying to find a place for him to get his arm fixed. That's actually why I went and I passed a, a, a bill last year that created a, a pilot program called the Coordinated School Health and Wellness Program. And that program was supposed to be UMC, which is the charity hospital in Lafayette, working in conjunction with the Lafayette Parish School System to create this coordinated school health, health and wellness program that would have one nurse, one psychologist, and one caseworker per 450 students. So it would be no longer an excuse when you see a child fall asleep in class, oh, let's just send them home. Now we're going to find out, we're going to put them in a room with these three people and say, let's figure out why you're falling asleep. Is it because you're not having the right nutrition? Is it because you're having problems at home? Is it because you, you uh, maybe you have mono or something? But it's no longer an excuse to say, oh, that child is lazy, or oh, that child is stupid. Because actually, whenever you look at the same similar program that was going on in New Orleans, you found out 62% of the children actually had one problem or the other, whether it was obesity, their eyesight, or, or you saw that some of them even needed hearing aids. And these children were being told that they were just stupid. Yet really, they just needed glasses. So there's definitely a connection between Medicaid and educating. 